Hey everybody, today's an exciting day. We have a brand new Can-Am X3. This machine is unbelievable. This is the off-road edition with the big tires, the long travel suspension. This thing has everything and it is one mean machine. But one thing it doesn't have yet is a rugged intercom and radio package. My first impression of getting in this Can-Am, man, this cockpit is killer. Steering wheel, man, it's really comfortable. Gauges are right in front of you, you can see it. Ergonomics behind the shifter, the passenger grab handle. Everything about this cockpit I really, really like. It's laid out very well, all your switches. You can adjust the seat. For me, this thing is really comfortable and fits great. So, where are we gonna mount a rugged intercom? And a radio package, so what I did was this. First we thought about they have a little special cover that goes on here that you can put your GPS or your iPad up there. But then, there's a nice little cubby hole right here, okay? It's perfect to reach in, have your intercom controls, your radio controls, and you know what? I thought this is gonna be the best place to mount our radio package. For demonstration purpose, I pulled out a couple bolts, but I wanna show you just how easy it is to remove the parts to be able to install the radio package in the X3. First off, there's this nice little cover here. You just gotta pull the two pins out of here. Oh, there's a bolt on this side and a bolt on the other side. So you remove this and take this out, okay? Now, they've got this nice little tray right here. There's a bolt in the back, a bolt in the, in the other side, and one right in the front. So three bolts, really simple, boom. You take this tray and you pop it out. This is where we're going to install our radio package on it. If you notice, the tunnel is already exposed. The battery's right behind the seat. So you know what? This is going to be one of the easiest installs we've ever done. Hey, Can-Am, thank you for designing a great product and making it easy for us to work on and install our radio package. Now, let's go inside, let's grab our radio package, and let's show you how it installs on the plate. Here we have it, the Can-Am X3 mount. What I've got is, I've got our 660 plus intercom, I've got our RM25 radio, and I've got the X3 mount. So the beauty about this mount, you can mount the radio, the intercom, everything on it before you install it in that little tray and put it back in the car. That's what makes it so easy. And the beauty about our X3 mount, everything's adjustable. So when you mount this in the tray, you can adjust the depth of the radio, okay, forward and back, Okay, you can also adjust the depth of the intercom. You can push it forward and back, you tighten the bolts down and off you run. So the X3 mount, there's four simple holes. All you do is this. You take your tray that we took out earlier, you set this thing inside the tray, you line it up where you want it, you take your drill and you drill four holes in the bottom of the tray. I've already pre-done it just to show you how easy it is. And then we give you all the supplied hardware, you bolt the plate right to this tray. Once you get it all bolted together, you can take and plug the intercom into each other. So you can plug the intercom and the radio together. So you can plug that port in. You can get some of the pre-wiring done. If you buy one of our noise filters that has a Y for the power for the radio and the intercom, you can simply run one power to make it even easier. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna install this package on the tray, and then we're gonna head back out to the X3 and install it all on the X3. Mounting the antenna and the coax cable on the X3 is really simple. Okay, there's this nice little brace right behind the inside of the roll cage here. You know what? So there's a quarter inch hole. So all you need to do is this. We need a 3 8 hole for our NMO mount. So I simply took a drill, drilled it out to 3 8 Then on the roof up here, I took an inch and a quarter hole saw and just cut the plastic roof. So it's a great spot for the antenna. Another thing too is the Can-Am has whip mounts behind on the rear bracket, so this doesn't interfere with the whip mounts. It's a perfect place. I simply zip tied the coax cable to the roll cage here. I removed this cover, went down behind the plastic, straight behind the seat, down the center console. So mounting your antenna and your coax cable, it doesn't get any easier than that on a Can-Am X3. Okay, we got this Can-Am X3 intercom and radio package install all wrapped up. We've got our brand new bracket for the X3. It mounts the 25 watt radio and the 660 plus. We even have a bracket for the 60 watt radio. 
you know what, this was a really easy install. And you know what, when you do it once, you always learn how to do it even better. You know what, all we did was this. We took out the center tray. There's three screws that take it out, this back panel. We pop it out. I originally pulled this console out, but I found you don't even have to do that. You can drop the wires straight down the tunnel. The tunnel is accessible from the bottom because the skid plate is lower than the bottom rail. So you can run it right, your cables right underneath that bottom rail to the back, up the back of the seat and connect it. You can also, the battery's right behind the seat and you can connect directly to the battery. But then I found out something kind of cool. The 25 watt radio comes as a little cigarette lighter plug. You know, normally we tell you not to hook to the cigarette 12 volt lighter plug. This little cap pops off on this thing. But what I found is this. I went ahead and tried it because sometimes you get motor noise. Sometimes there's not good enough filtering. You get engine wind. Depends on how everything is wired. So I went ahead and tried it. I plugged into the 12 volt. I hooked into the intercom radio package. And you know what? That 12 volt plug, it supplies you with enough amperage and there was no motor noise whatsoever. I did put a noise filter in line, one of our rugged noise filters in line. So to suppress anything else, but you know what? That worked really well. So if you want to do a fast install, all you have to do is simply plug the power cord in fish this wire down through the back, it goes straight down to the back of the intercom and you plug it in. Then you don't even have to run the cable back to the back of the seat and connect to the battery. The beauty about doing that, when you hit the start button, it automatically lights up the radio and intercom. Really, really cool feature. I went ahead and did it our conventional way so it's routed directly to the battery. Installing the push to talks on the X3, I installed our PTT right on the steering wheel then you wrap it. Be sure you put this little loop in here. I put a little wire tie, a zip tie right around here. Put this loop so when you turn the steering wheel, it doesn't pull the push to talk apart. That's really important. I also put another little zip tie right here. That strains relief, reliefs it so you don't damage the PTT. Then simply run it underneath the dash, plug it in the back of the intercom. Really simple. It works great. The passenger. I went right around the grab bar, run it right down here, plug it into the intercom, off you run. Everything about this install is really simple. So, overview. Man, this thing's real ergonomic. You can reach the intercom, adjust it really easily, hit the button to uh, uh, mute your music when you're using the 60, uh, 660 plus intercom. You can adjust the channels on your radio easily. You can see it. The Can MX3, it's also protected. So when you're riding the elements, the water, things like that, when it comes over the dash and it splashes, you're not directly on your communication system. Also, everything's elevated up. So if you do get some water in that bottom tray, it's just gonna go right out the bottom tray. It works perfect. So, brand new Can-Am X3, rugged radios install. This is the hot ticket. It's easy to put in. Give us a call. Call our staff. Go online, ruggedradios.com. We're here to answer all of your questions. Rugged Radios, work, race, play. We are the authority in communications.